Hello there. Um, I've had a lot of requests about people wanting to know about my add-ons, so here's a little video explaining them. I've had a little rearrange of my add-ons since my last video, so it looks a bit different. If you still like it, then this is how I've done it. So the first add-on, the main one really, is Bartender. It's what how my bars are set up here. It's really simple to use add-on. You can just open it up, move bars around, have them wherever you want. Um, so you can have extra abilities going here and there. Like here I have extra focus macros so I can focus different people easily. Um, it's really easy to set up. You can have an extra tech bars if you wanted. You can just turn them on and off. Um, also you can change like rows, how they're displayed if I do that, you can have them horizontal, etc but yeah, it's really good, it's, you can move your bags, you can move all your extra little couch things, you can change the scale of them make them huge, I like them very small, I like to be able to see the screen really um, you get vehicle bars, extra action bars, you get everything in that so if you need to change up your ability placement or your bars, then Bartender 4 is one to get. Two more big players on my UI are, it really helps with raiding, and is Recount and Omen. Recount shows you the DPS that you do in each fight. So for example, I killed Ragnos yesterday. So it tells me I did 33k DPS. Um, I beat all these with nabs. It tells you how much damage each of your abilities did, how much you hit with them, how much you missed, how much you powered, um, how much you crit. It's a really useful thing. Um, you don't need to really look at in depth about how much each of your abilities do, but it's good to be able to judge how much um, hit you still need, how much um, expertise you probably still need if you're not overcap. Um, but it's that one is really good for raiding. Helps you really be competitive with your DPS, so you know where you're going wrong and what how to improve really. Um, Omen also helps with um, raiding because it shows you the aggro on each boss. Um, if I was targeting a boss, then it shows up there um, how much aggro each person would have. I don't know if it shows up. But um, it would say the tank at the top, so it's it doesn't really help anymore. But um, if your tanks are struggling with aggro, then you know when to um, use faint or vanish and just remove your aggro completely. Another little add-on I like is tip tack. Um, you can see the tooltip in the bottom right of the screen. It's a nice little clean tip um, tooltip where you can it shows. Um, class colours, it shows their health, it shows their mana pools, um, if they're bosses, um, if they're on alliance, if they're on PvP, it shows everything about them, it shows what guild they're in, what level they are, what talents they've got, everything, it shows buffs on them as well. It's just a really neat kind of thing that I like to have on. Another kind of small add-on change is sexy maps, it's what my map is up here. Um, it just makes it look cool really, there's no real need for it. But you can change the settings of it as well. I like to have it corresponding to my class colour, hence why it's yellow. It's not because of any other reason. But you can change the colour, you can have it blue, you can have it red. It just looks quite nice to me. You can have extra runes around it and such. It's just an extra nice little addition. And along the top as well is Titan panel. Titan panel. So up up there I've got my location, it shows my repair info, um how much each bit costs, how much it all costs in total. It repair it updates as soon as you start losing durability on stuff. It shows my bags, I can open all the bags with it. it shows my money, it, can, it also shows the money across all my characters. Um my FPS my latency, etc. You can have a lot more stuff on it, it's just my time up there. 
you can have omen up there apparently. You can, sh you can just show us how much XP you get in per hour and stuff if you're leveling. It's just quite a handy little add-on to have really. It just makes everything neat and really visible for you. For my unit frames, I use shadowed unit frames. I'll open up the thing. Shadowed unit frames. Um, this makes me able to change my player um, you can change raid frames with it, you can do party frames with it, you can do targets as target of target, etc. You can have your pets on it, all, all unit frames you can edit with this. Um, I quite like it because it puts the percentages, puts all the health in. It's just a really tidy way of doing things. It can show buffs and debuffs on it, obviously. Um, it shows debuffs on the bottom, buffs on top. And on focus frames, it shows buffs and debuffs as well. Um, so yeah, I, I really recommend shadowed unit frames. Really, if you're wanting a tidier unit frame, it's really easy to set up as well. Really, you can just again move frames around. It gives you arena frames and boss frames as well. Um, it gives you these kind of test templates. So you can move it around to see where you want it before you actually go into what you're looking for. The last really main add-on I use is Power Always Classic. Um, this gives me a lot of the visual cues that you see on my screen. Um, for example, these show all my um, cooldowns when they're off cooldown so I've got killing speed in the middle, I've got adrenaline rush and I've got tricks of the trade. That big cross on the left shows me um, that I don't have slice and dice up and there's a combat rogue I should do really so I need to put that back up. Um, on the right there you see my combo points that just pop up correspondingly so I can easily see during the raid, I don't need to be focuses on my unit frames or anything like that, I can just be looking at the centre of my screen so I don't stand in stuff. Um, again, adrenaline must pock in there, so um, it changes the thing, it tells me how long it's got on it, and it shows me the cooldown on it as well. Killing spree as well, it shows me the cooldown on it afterwards. Um, as well, slice and dice, I need to refresh that in a second, so it tells me that I need to refresh it. It's all stuff like that that Power Wars really does well. stuns. It's good for PvP so you can like change stuns up and things like that. Um, so that's power always classic. It's, again that's really easy to set up. For my combo points for example I have about five things showing up but each one of them is just a little s circle with a number on it which tells you how many combo points are. That's how I've set up each one. So if you wanted to replicate that kind of idea you can just change the circle around or whatever. So you can have different circles than me, etc. Make it look a bit different, a bit of individuality. I can't remember where it's set up, there we go. And um, stacks, just have it showing the stacks in there. That's how you set up the combo points. And you can have, for example, the stun. You just have it on debuff type and stun. You can have CC in there so you can see how long your sap's got left and things like that. Finally, another aesthetic kind of add-on is scrolling combat text, which is here. Um, this changes my damage text, my, and it gives me little messages on healing, what I've been healed by. So on here, it shows me how fast my combat chance is stacking, how many stacks I've got, um, when my energy is procking. Up here, it shows crits in red. Um, it shows my abilities, how much damage they're doing. You can have it set up so it's not going in spirally directions and such. But so it's um going straight up, you can have it going horizontally, etc. Again, here it shows the healing done and my recuperate. It's just quite a nice clean thing to have. It's just aesthetics really, but it can look quite nice if you set it up well. 
so yeah, you can change the animation speed, you can change um, how much you need to, damage you actually need to do for it to show up on there, so you don't get spammed by small hots, etc. Um, you can have, you can have, have different texts, you can have different arcs, so a sprinkler would be going everywhere, pretty much. Hold on to it, you can just have it vertical. But yeah, it's just quite a cool thing to have. So that's a quick overview of my UI add-ons. I don't use any other add-ons for anything. Um, I just quite like to make my screen look pretty since they're set on it, doing raids for hours on end. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you. Bye-bye.